What's going on guys? Today Leicester City have just beaten Tottenham Hotspur 2-0 and this is, let's be honest, this is a big game. Both teams are in the top four going into this game. There's a lot of pressure on Brendan Rodgers. He, he's faced uh, Jose Mourinho seven times in his career and has still not won one of them games, whether it be for Liverpool or Leicester City. And yeah, let's let's get into it. So the game started off uh, very tight. It was mostly Tottenham sitting back, Leicester trying to break through but struggling. And Tottenham were doing a very good job. It was, they were set up the way you'd expect Jose Mourinho to set up his team. And then um, just before half time, the ball has gone onto the edge of the box and Wesley Fofana has chest controlled it. And Serge Aurier has made the stupid, awful decision to just nudge, nudge him in the back, shoulder to back. So at the time the referee didn't pick up on it, but VAR managed to and the referee gave it as a penalty once he had consulted VAR. And it, well, it, it was the correct decision. It was stupid from Serge Aurier and he's let his team down after what was a very good defensive performance from Tottenham in the first half. They didn't create much in the uh, attacking wise. They had a few counter attacks that turned out to not turn, didn't turn out into much. And other than that, nothing was really created from Tottenham in the first half. Anyway, with the penalty being given, Jamie Vardy scored it 1-0 half-time. And then seconds into the second half, Leicester come out very, very attacking-wise. Very they, put, they took the game to Tottenham. And there was a long ball over the top from Wesley Fafana, or no, it was James Justin. James Justin played it over the top. And James Madison had absolutely acres of space. Eric Dyer and Toby Alderweireld were absolutely nowhere near him. And he had time to take a touch, which it wasn't even a great touch. He had that much time and space that he didn't even need to take a good touch and still managed to put it past Hugo Lloris. Now VAR checked it because it was tight, on whether it was offside or onside. Five years ago, that is what is called level. Like, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. His elbow was offside, his elbow. If he goes, if he, if a cross comes in and he does that with his elbow and puts it into the back of the net off here, then that's that's ruled out for handball. So why, it, it, if he's running and his elbow is the only part of his body that's offside, why is that being given as offside? It that is it's stupid. So that 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 was disallowed, and Tottenham got away with one there. And you're thinking at that point, Tottenham are gonna they're gonna have to try try something because they they need to get at least a point out of this game after the week they've had to losing to Liverpool and only getting a point at Southwest Park. But nope, about 10 minutes later, a, a long cross in from Mark Brighton and Jamie Vardy's tried to head it across to the other side of the goal, but it has taken a deflection off Toby Alderweireld it wasn't really, he wasn't at fault or anything. He, he just couldn't react in time and it's gone into the back of the net. And that was pretty much the end of it in, um, in terms of chances for the game. It was Tottenham had a few sort of chances that you wouldn't expect them to score. Uh, Gareth Bale put a free kick about 20 yards over the bar. I, I, I personally thought top, Tottenham were appalling today. It, it, they didn't look anything like title contenders and I, I, I yeah I, I, I can't see them winning the league this season. I, I genuinely give Man United more of a chance of winning the Premier League this season than I give Tottenham 
like they they can do it against your Burnleys and your Fulhams and your West Broms, but they 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 can't do it against the Liverpools and Leicesters. So therefore, I, I don't I don't think they're Premier League winning material personally. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.